Dear civil engineers, in a previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll create that foundation reinforcement detailing and also by using that tools, okay, structural river tools and also by using extension. So in this lecture, I'm just going to show you that how we'll create our that column river, okay, how we'll create our column river. So to create column river, I'll just come here level one or any level you need. So I'll just come here. Okay. And if you click here, if you click that point, then you'll be able to see the clear cover. Okay. You'll be able to see the clear cover here. Clear. So I'll just skip now here after coming here just click here river they have many way actually they have many way to provide its river in uh, columns actually it's depend on you that how you want to deal with that okay it's totally up to you clear but uh, I always prefer a process in which way we are able to draw very quickly so what we'll do first of all i'll just go here go down and from here i'll select this river p1 type 1 okay and from here you have to select far cover reference far cover reference okay and here they have another option near cover reference clear so i will use far cover reference and then they have three option parallel to work plane so i'll use that one and just see you are seeing the river placement in different direction so here suppose i want to place a river in any direction it's up to you suppose here so we have provided our river then i'll press escape okay and now i'll click here i'll click here and i'll just come here fix number or maximum spacing then minimum clear spacing okay so i'll just use maximum spacing and whatever the excess spacing i'll consider it's up to you actually i'm considering five inch okay then just come here it will automatically Cover its work. So I'll just go in 3D. Uh, actually, it's not showing. So I'll come here and from here, wireframe. Just see here our river, I mean, uh, East Rap River have been or Thai River have been created. Now we'll provide our no longitudinal reinforcement. Okay. So I'll again go here, level 1. And here we'll provide our longitudinal reinforcement. Now there are two ways. First of all, draw your. First of all, you can draw your. Uh, but before that, I'll select. I'll skip. Then I'll select that. And from here, visibility. I'll just go here, here, and here. Okay. And after that, I'll just go here fine just see we have just seeing that our reinforcement here now we'll go for our long reinforcement so to create long reinforcement there are many methods and it's totally up to you so i'll just go a easy method i'll go top and i'll find out the l shape reinforcement I'll find out L shape reinforcement where just uh, see here this is the L shape reinforcement and in L shape L shape reinforcement if you just come here just see if you come here you will see the reinforcement are in I mean parallel to the plane so where we'll go we'll go perpendicular to cover okay or parallel to cover so i just go here 
and C. You can see here the reinforcement are showing in that direction now. Clear? Now it's showing in that direction now. So what I'll do actually? What I'll do now? Now I'll create reinforcement here and I will extend that. How much we got actually? So what I'll do? I'll just okay. It's okay. And they have another way. Just you can take you can take that estate bar. Okay, you can take estate bar and you can draw here. You can draw here and after that you'll be able to extend that as per your requirement. Clear? So I, I, I don't like this procedure. I directly I will directly create that option and from here I will just provide some reinforcement here. Okay, and also another reinforcement here. So and another reinforcement here, another reinforcement here, another here as per as per our requirement actually. Another here and another here and another here and another here. So we have provided our six reinforcement here. If I just go in three, just see here you can see we have provided six reinforcement. Here we have provided six reinforcement. What will do actually? What will do? I will just go in section. In our previous lecture, we have just created that section. Just see here. This is the section and section one, and this is the section two. Okay, this is section one and this is section two. Now, one thing we have to see. I'll just again come here and I will use that option. Course. And if I click here, from which point to which point I'm seeing? Okay, from which point to which point I'm seeing? So I'm seeing for that section. Okay, for that section. For section one, we're seeing the value from that line to that point. And that means we are covering that two strap. Clear? So what I'll do, and if you need to move that, you're able to move that like that way. So I'll move it later. First of all, I'll cover. The two reinforcement first of all I'll cover so I'll just go section one just see here we're in section one now what I'll do simply I will select that river and from but I mean by clicking here I will just move it here a little bit move it here and by clicking that river By clicking that shiver, skip, then select that shiver and move it in that side. Okay, so after uh, moving, I'll just go down. I'll just go down how much we record actually here, just here, and now I'll move it here. As per our requirement, and I will be able to move that reinforcement like that. So, again, I'll just go down like that and just move it. Sorry, cancel and move that reinforcement here, and also move that. Here as per your requirement, and uh, by clicking that point, I mean by providing a value here, you are also able to change that. Okay, so if you just uh, provide here, actually, uh, I'll show you later. So here it's done, and I'll make it a little bit smaller. So it's done. Okay, now I'll go in section two, and for section two, I'll select that one and from here 
I'll just go down like that. Okay, and from here I can use the fine to see that in river form, I mean in 3D form. So from here to here I'll move like that. Clear. And again similarly for that one, I'll just move it below here. How easy this method just you can understand and by pressing that on you're able to move it here like that okay and also for that one a little bit move in that direction okay so it's done now for our section one here and for our section two here that's okay now i will sorry i'll select that one and i'll move it downward like that okay and for section one sorry and again for section one it's okay for section one and for section two it's also okay clear and so I'll just go back by pressing Ctrl Z. Now again, I'll just go here. Okay, I'll just go here. And now for that side to have to work. How? I'll select that one. And by pressing here, I'll just move it in that direction. And for that two middle reinforcement, I'll try to cover that middle to reinforcement. Okay, and from section one, from section one, similarly, I'll do the same text previously I have done. I'll click here. I'll just go down like that. And I'll move in that direction right and again i'll select sorry again i'll select that river and i'll go down here and i'll move the river here is it clear i hope you have understand that what we are doing here so section for section 2 it's also okay now again i'll go here okay and i'll select that on and after selecting i'll move in that side like here to cover to cover this river okay now again i'll go in section 1 and just see how easily we can identify that point so for that column, similarly I'll just go down. How much we record like here? Okay, and for that column, I mean that river, I'll just go down and by pressing here, just move it as per your requirement. And by clicking here or anywhere, just move it as per your requirement. Okay. So when it's done, when it's done, now I'll just go. Uh, and I'll just go here. So it's done. Now we'll go for our another section for section two. I mean for section two, it's okay. So for middle point we have to work. Again, I'll go here and I'll select that one. From here, 
what is the middle point so here is the middle point first of all i'll check that section section 2 okay so for that section i i think it's okay now i'll just drag in here and i'll come in that side and i'll move it like that and after that i'll again go for section 2 maybe it's also okay now again i'll just go here and i'll cover the middle reinforcement okay and i'll cover only that middle reinforcement here and i'll go section 2 just see it's also okay so if we go now in 3d view now we'll see what is the condition actually and from here i'll select from 3d view or i'll just go level one and from here i'll select that then by pressing control that river and that river here that river that river that river that river after that this keep and go to in 3d because this is the good way to select that river again by pressing control select that river carefully select that river carefully select that river and where is our another by pressing shift i'll just move it little bit okay by pressing control i'll select that river and also that river then pressing shift i'll again move maybe we didn't select that one just by pressing control i'll select that one now i'll just go here edit here 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 then okay i hope we have sorry for that one we didn't do i'll just go i'll go here so it's done when it's done now we can see in 3d view here like realistic we have to save that model just see in 3d view we're seeing that all of our reinforcement here all of our reinforcement we're seeing here 